Fox at 6 tonight. Breaking news in the investigation of an Arkansas woman found dead last week in a plastic storage bin. The St. Francis County Sheriff says there is a person of interest in the case. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Stephanie Skirlock. And I'm Greg Hurst. We've also learned that a Forest City home was searched today for evidence in the death of the 42-year-old woman. WRG's Mike Siriani has details you'll only see on 3. The information that we received do, through our investigation is a possibility she was murdered in that house. Possibility. St. Francis County Sheriff Bobby May with a major update in the death investigation of 42 year old Troy Strope. Telling WREG deputies armed with a search warrant swarmed this home on Buford Street in Forest City Thursday, gathering possible evidence connected to Strope's murder. We got what we think is ample. Uh, it doesn't take but a speck. It doesn't take much, you know, but we, I, we think we got ample uh, forensics. Sheriff May would not comment on what items were taken from the house, but added. We think in possibly some blood, you know, in the residence. Strope's nude, decomposed body was discovered inside a plastic storage tote February 20th by youngsters on four-wheelers riding on St. Francis County Road 731. Sheriff May says two brothers live at the Buford Street address. One of them was arrested Thursday on a drug charge unrelated to the search warrant. May says the other occupant of the house was not detained. At this time, we just don't have enough evidence to make any arrest. We, uh, we certainly haven't talked to any eyewitnesses. While I was at the address Thursday, a man who said he lives at the house would not comment on why deputies had been there earlier and told me to leave his property. Sheriff May says he knows how Strope was murdered, but he can't jeopardize the case by releasing those details. Only the person who actually did it or persons who were there would know how she was murdered. So uh, we don't want to put, make that public. In Forest City, Mike Suriani, WREG News Channel 3.